The Bradley Fighting Vehicle, a technical analysis of America's cavalry and infantry workhorse, a defense industry research paper. The Bradley Fighting Vehicle, a cornerstone of the United States Army's mechanized forces for over four decades, represents a complex balance of firepower, mobility, and protection. Born from the doctrinal shifts of the Cold War, it has evolved through continuous modernization to remain relevant on modern battlefields. This paper provides a comprehensive technical analysis of the Bradley platform, tracing its design philosophy, detailing the specifications of its primary variants, and examining the extensive modernization efforts that have extended its service life. Furthermore, it analyzes the vehicle's performance in recent conflicts and looks ahead to its planned successor, the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle, outlining the future capabilities sought by the U.S. Army. The research concludes that while the Bradley remains a potent and adaptable system, it is approaching the physical limits of its upgradability, necessitating a generational leap in armored vehicle design. Introduction, the paradigm shift in American mechanized doctrine. The M2, M3 Bradley fighting vehicle emerged not merely as a new piece of hardware, but as the physical manifestation of a significant evolution in U.S. Army tactical thought during the late Cold War. For decades, the M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, or APC, had served as the primary means of transporting infantry on the battlefield. However, the M113 was fundamentally a battlefield taxi designed to transport troops to the edge of the fight where they would dismount and engage on foot. It offered limited protection and its offensive capability was typically a single .50 caliber machine gun. The emergence of the Soviet BMP-1 in 1966 signaled a paradigm shift. The BMP was not an APC, but an Infantry Fighting Vehicle, or IFV, it was designed to allow infantry to fight from within the vehicle, supporting tanks with its own substantial organic firepower, notably a 73mm low-pressure gun and a Malyutka anti-tank guided missile, or ATGM. This new threat demanded a symmetrical response. The U.S. Army's requirement for a new cavalry fighting vehicle, an infantry fighting vehicle, or IFV, was thus born out of the necessity to keep pace with the new M1 Abrams main battle tank, or MBT, provide infantry and cavalry units with enhanced survivability and the ability to engage enemy infantry, light vehicles, and even main battle tanks, and outmatch the perceived capabilities of Soviet IFVs. The resulting design from the Foot Machinery Corporation, now part of BAE Systems Land and Armaments, after a protracted and often controversial development period, was the Bradley. It entered service in 1981, and its arrival redefined the capabilities of the American Armored Brigade Combat Team. Design Philosophy and Core Technical Specifications The Bradley's design philosophy centered on providing a blend of three key attributes firepower, protection, and mobility. However, it prioritized these differently than a main battle tank. The Bradley's role was one of support and engagement, not direct head-on assault against heavy armor. Primary Armament M242 25mm Bushmaster Chain Gun This cannon was a revolutionary step as an externally powered, chain-driven automatic cannon it offers high reliability and two selectable rates of fire. Low, 100 rounds per minute for engaging point targets and saving ammunition, and high, 200 rounds per minute for engaging aircraft or area targets. It fires a range of 25 by 137 millimeter ammunition, including M791 armor-piercing discarding Sabit Tracer, a tungsten penetrator capable of defeating the side and rear armor of contemporary MBTs and the frontal arc of older models. M792 High Explosive Incendiary Tracer, effective against infantry, light vehicles, and unfortified positions. Secondary Armament, Tau Anti-Tank Guided Missile System. The Bradley is equipped with a two-tube Tau, tube-launched, optically-tracked, wire-guided launcher. 
This gives the vehicle a beyond line of sight capability to engage and destroy heavy armor at ranges up to 3,750 meters. The system has been upgraded from the basic iTau to the Tau 2A slash B series with tandem warheads to defeat explosive reactive armor or ERA. Coaxial weapon, M240C, 7.62 mm machine gun, provides suppressive fire and engages unarmored targets. This combination allows a single Bradley to suppress infantry, destroy light armored vehicles with its cannon, and engage main battle tanks with its Tau missiles, making it a versatile and multi-role platform. Protection, the aluminum hull and the survivability onion. The Bradley's protection scheme has been a subject of scrutiny, primarily due to its use of a welded 583 aluminum alloy hull. While aluminum offers weight savings, it has different ballistic properties than steel, particularly against certain threats. The vehicle's protection philosophy is best understood through the survivability onion model. Don't be seen. The Bradley has a relatively low profile compared to many peer vehicles. Don't be acquired. Its digital systems in later variants allow for shoot and scoot tactics. Don't be hit. This is a critical layer. The Bradley's mobility is its first line of defense. Don't be penetrated. The base aluminum armor provides protection against small arms fire and shell splinters. The M2A2 variant introduced the Bradley Urban Survival Kit, or BUSK, which added laminated steel and ceramic applique armor to the sides and front, significantly enhancing protection against rocket-propelled grenades, or RPGs, and heavy machine guns. Spall liners are installed to reduce fragmentation inside the vehicle if the armor is penetrated. Don't be killed. Crew survivability is enhanced by compartmentalization of ammunition with blow-off panels on the ammunition storage hatches, fire suppression systems, and the ability for the crew to escape through multiple hatches. Mobility. Keeping pace with the Abrams. To operate effectively alongside the M1 Abrams, the Bradley required exceptional mobility. It is powered by a Cummins VTA903T 600 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine, giving it a power to weight ratio of approximately 20 HP per T, which allows for a top road speed of 61 kilometers per hour or 41 miles per hour, and a cross country speed that can match the Abrams in many terrains. Its torsion bar suspension and track system provide stable firing on the move and good cross country performance. The vehicle is fully amphibious with minimal preparation, propelled in water by its tracks. Variant Evolution – A Timeline of Continuous Improvement The Bradley has undergone a systematic series of upgrades, each addressing lessons learned and emerging threats. M2, M2A1 – Base Model The initial production model. The A1 introduced the Tau-2 missile and an improved vision system. M2A2 – ODS Operation Desert Storm, a major upgrade prompted by lessons from the Gulf War. Key improvements included enhanced armor protection for the sides and front, a more powerful 600 HP engine to compensate for the added weight, nuclear biological chemical NBC overpressure protection system, internal spall liners, rear infantry seating rearranged for improved safety, M2 A2 ODS. Operation Desert Storm. Further refinements based on combat experience in 1991, including a laser rangefinder, GPS, and an improved Bradley acquisition system, IBAS. M2A3. This variant, fielded in the early 2000s, represented a digital leap. It transformed the Bradley into a fully networked digital platform. Full digital architecture, integrated vehicle diagnostics, and a digital data bus. Enhanced fire control, commander's independent viewer, CIV, and improved thermal sights for both commander and gunner. FBC B2, BFT, Blue Force Tracker for situational awareness and networked command and control. Improved navigation, integrated GPS and inertial navigation. M2A4, 
A4E1, the latest significant upgrade focusing on electrical power and active protection. New 700 amp generator addresses the chronic issue of electrical power margin, which is critical for adding new electronics and sensors. Iron Fist Light Active Protection System, the A4 variant is designed to integrate the Iron Fist APS. This is a hard kill system that detects, tracks, and intercepts incoming anti-tank rockets and missiles, like RPGs, with a projectile, destroying the threat before it hits the vehicle. This is a game-changing capability against asymmetric threats and top-attack munitions. The Bradley and Modern Conflict, a crucible of fire. The Bradley's combat record has validated its design while also highlighting areas for improvement. Operation Desert Storm, 1991. The Bradley proved highly effective with its Tau missiles destroying more Iraqi armored vehicles than the M1 Abrams tank. However, friendly fire incidents and vulnerabilities highlighted the need for better identification systems and the enhanced protection that would come with the A2 variant. In Rock War, 2003 to 2011, in the invasion and subsequent counterinsurgency, the Bradley was used extensively in urban environments. Its 25mm cannon was devastating in street fights, but its side and rear armor proved vulnerable to RPGs and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. This led to the rapid fielding of the Bradley Urban Survival Kit, BUSK, which added slat armor to defend against RPGs, transparent armor for the commander, and other survivability enhancements. War in Ukraine, 2023 to present. The provision of Bradley M2A2 ODS variants to Ukraine has provided the most recent and brutal test of the platform. They have been used in combined arms assaults and defensive operations. Losses have been significant, underscoring the intensity of the battlefield dominated by artillery, drones, and advanced anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs. However, reports also highlight the resilience of the vehicle. Crews have survived catastrophic hits that completely destroyed the vehicle, a testament to its crew compartment design and safety features. The 25mm Bushmaster has been praised for its effectiveness against lighter Russian vehicles and infantry positions. The future, the XM30 program and the Bradley successor. Despite continuous upgrades, the Bradley platform is reaching the physical limits of its growth potential. The weight of added armor and electronics strains the chassis and powertrain, and its fundamental architecture cannot easily accommodate next-generation technologies. In response, the U.S. Army launched the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle MICV, program, formerly the Optionally Manned Fighting Vehicle OMFV. The XM-30 is not merely an incremental improvement, it is a generational leap designed to dominate the future battlefield. Its key required capabilities include transformative firepower. The primary armament will be a 50mm XM-913 automatic cannon, a significant caliber jump from the Bradley's 25mm. This weapon, firing programmable airburst munitions, will extend the lethal range of the IFV, enhance its ability to defeat peer IFVs, and be more effective against drones and targets in defilade. Optionally manned architecture. The XM-30 will be designed to operate with a reduced crew inside the vehicle, while being able to control unmanned systems, drones, ground robots, or even operate the vehicle itself remotely. This allows for greater tactical flexibility and reduces crew risk in high-threat environments. Integrated Active Protection System, APS. Unlike the Bradley's add-on APS, the XM-30 will have an APS designed as a core integrated system from the outset, providing 360-degree protection against ATGMs and RPGs. Hybrid Electric Drive, HED. A hybrid powertrain will offer several advantages, silent mobility for stealthy operations, significant electrical power to run advanced sensors and directed energy weapons, and reduced fuel consumption. 
enhanced survivability and modular armor. The hull will likely use advanced materials offering better protection for less weight. Armor will be modular, allowing commanders to tailor the vehicle's protection level and weight for specific missions. Modular Open Systems Architecture MOSA. This will allow for rapid and affordable integration of new software and hardware throughout the vehicle's life cycle, avoiding the obsolescence issues of legacy platforms. The program is currently in the prototyping phase with American Rheinmetall vehicles offering a Lynx KF41 based design and General Dynamics Land Systems offering a Griffin 3 based design. A winner is expected to be selected in the late 2020s with initial operational capability projected for the early 2030s. Conclusion, an enduring legacy and an inevitable transition. The Bradley Fighting Vehicle stands as a testament to American engineering and adaptability. For 40 years, it has successfully served as the backbone of the Army's mechanized infantry and cavalry evolving through relentless modernization to meet ever-changing threats. Its potent mix of a 25mm chain gun, TAU missiles, and respectable mobility has made it a formidable system on battlefields from the deserts of Iraq to the forests of Europe. However, the laws of physics and the pace of technological advancement are immutable. The Bradley, in its latest A4 guise, represents the pinnacle of what is possible with its 1980s-era foundation. The future high-intensity battlefield, characterized by pervasive sensors, long-range precision fires, and autonomous systems, demands a new kind of fighting vehicle. The XM-30 program is the ambitious and necessary answer. While the Bradley will continue to serve with distinction for at least another decade, its ultimate legacy will be the hard-won lessons it provided, lessons in firepower, survivability, and network-centric warfare that are now being baked into the design of its successor. The transition from the Bradley to the XM-30 will mark the end of one era and the beginning of the next in American ground combat capability.